Welcome back to the Rebirth. With the horde behind us and the crafting chain in full swing, it's time to start accumulating money, loot, and experience. And there's plenty of missions around town to do for the Trader Network. So the plan will be to start knocking those out, but I don't want to fall behind in my skills, so I'll travel with limited support from our allies. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you, but now it's go time. Okay, a couple of items on the agenda first before we get started is that we need, well, I need to find my wrench first. I'm not sure what I did with the one. I think it was broken. Oh, and the black die. That was the other thing. We need to see if we can craft. Speaking of craft, I did craft the generator last night and I took up the gas stove top from downstairs and just remade it up here so that we can have everything on the top floor. But I want to look and see if we can get storages now. And I think we can, writable storage containers, and we should be able to get a couple of those from the workbench. Finally, some proper storage. We are short on uh, nothing. All right, I think I quite like this being the loot storage room and then this over here being the crafting room. Although, hang on. I mean, yeah, the, the storage is, I don't know. Would they look better in here maybe? I don't exactly know. I think this is a good, wall right here I think for the storage so I'm just gonna I hope I don't regret this I'm gonna start stacking up the storages right here and I'll work on getting those organized a little bit later on for now let's head out who's coming with me today creamy ghost or are we gonna bring dank jeans how about you come with me today follow me you're just basically gonna guard the vehicle wherever I go today and in terms of where to go we've got three tier two fetches and a treasure map down there. That Don't airdrop down friend, there is good. Six. Also, I just uh, just a notification. I did update the, to the latest version of the mod. Furious Ramsey updates the mod like once a week or it's sometimes every couple of days. And for some reason, I've picked up a whole bunch of map markers for Maverick and Josiah. So we're going to just remove all those. In fact, I've got map markers for the Witch Doctor and for our Panther. Just... Just get rid of all of these. I don't I don't know how these wound up here. Okay, good now. Uh, in terms of the update, it does influence the Witch Doctor class quite a bit because now, uh, well, I've also learned one that we, when we right click to mind control someone, we can just right click power attack to disable that. And the zombies that ha uh, were not kind of working properly, that were still trying to attack me, those guys have been fixed. I'm gonna also just bring some duct tape with me because I think duct tape repairs certain weapons and probably should try to get a weapon repair kit at some point. We can get those from the trader though. All right, let's move out. All right, rolling up on the first spot here. And like I said, I think I'll just jump out here and I will post up our soldier out front just to kind of guard the area. So Dank, stay where you're standing. Yep. Good job. Yep, take out that spider for me. Disgusting. I will take a couple of bandages to get the extra hit points into me. Now he's killing. Oh, you're just gonna clear out the POI next door? That's nice. <laughs> I guess I'll get that cobblestone while I'm uh, before I leave here today. All right, I think we're good. Hit the quest. Okay, we have got to work on our sickle skills today, so it's all about <laughs> killing people with the sickle. All right, we're in sneaking range now. I've cleared out the barn over there. Not much there. There is a bear over there on the other side of the wall. I heard him trying to kill someone. Ooh, and uh, that guy woke up somehow. And a bunch of people waking up inside. Okay, this is just going to be an issue. I figured out that I had the wrench. <laughs> it was in the number one hot bar slot from when I was harvesting uh, street lamps and stuff. Whoa, made it a little bit more convenient for me. Oh, stamina, come on. Here we go. I got some coffee with me, though. There we go. Aha, these have... Well, they have the table saw blade, which I should be good on, I think, right? Yeah, I got that and then the small motor. Ooh, this is a dead end. We don't like that. Oh, I, I wonder. I just searched that box there. I can just take that box? That's kind of convenient. <laughs> Big storage box for free. Not the writable version, I don't think. Ah, oh, key boxes. This is a kind of a cool POI. And then those uh, empty barrels there, I'll take a couple with me because I know that they're used for crafting for at least the chem station. Holy crap, look out. All right, get some space here. Doing fine. Ah, that opened that door right there, I see. All right, here we go. Oh, nice, good job, Arlene. Making it easy on me. As well loot as I go, I suppose. Ah, another, another little key box there, perfect. And that should go to the door. Not that one, I guess. This one over here, there's another key box there. Bathroom. Not, whoa, janitor. 
Get back. Right, down to the basement. Okay, let's just top off on hit points here. Fortunately, all the, the doors that get unlocked are just locked open now. All the doors are locked down here. Yes, clothing. We need a college jacket. We need, uh, like, looting glasses. Well, we need a lot of things right now. Helmet flashlight would be nice, too. Can you hit that? Thank you. Ooh, a new shredder. In case I feel so inclined to take that with me, which, why not? Yeah, with two shredders, you know, if we have a big pile of stone... Oh, there's the, uh, thing right there. Ooh, that was very well hidden. That's the whole quest right there. Yeah, we could get both going at the same time. Pool table, taking that with me. Ooh, very cool. Beer sign, I'll take that too. All right, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like, um, I'm done with the whole key box hide and seek game, so <laughs> I'm just gonna do this the old fashioned way. And we have an explosive immune zombie trying to beat his way in here. Almost. There we go. Oh, that was uh, pretty easy. Right, and that's the other one. Jeez, this person was like super duper secure, locked every door and put the key to the, <laughs> the room in the adjacent room. Oh, these are all takeable storage boxes as well. I might just do that for now. Whoops. Oh, hi there. Ow. What are you moving so fast for? Oh, maybe I'm just moving so slow because I'm full on loot. Okay, loot has been deposited. I think we're on to the second floor. The second and final floor, I think. Ooh, that's probably where the loot is right there. Hello? Where is everybody? Maybe close that. Nope, I can't close that door because it's locked open. Oh my god, would you get back? What are you trying to run through me for? Jeez. Okay, okay. Might need to uh, get away from the scythes there for just a second while I get some stamina back. Oh, whole charge of them running out of there now. That did quite a number on me. Whoop, there goes my scythe right there. And repair that. Oh, oh crap, I put the duct tape away. That's the last zombie right there though. Oh, up to the attic though. Maybe not the last zombie. Kinda looks like it though. I think these guys were awake. They've been beating on the door for a while. So this should be it right here. All right, all done. Let's pack up the ambulance and head to the next one. All right, we're rolling up in. <laughs> Loud and proud, baby. Okay, stay where you're standing, hit the quest, and let's roll through here. Some kind of a farm. This is also a fetch quest, so it should be nice and easy. Whoops, I never repaired that. You hang out there for a second. Duct tape, repair, and Dank. Oh, Dank's gonna end up killing these guys for me. Whoa, these, these running attacks today are crazy. You know what? I saw some kind of a recipe that required these barrels here, so I'm gonna take a couple of them with me. Oh, there's the satchel <laughs> right off the bat. Oh, that's not the one that we need, though. So, uh, wait a minute. This might be a little bit of a bugged quest, because it's saying that I've done everything here, but I don't... I didn't get the supplies. These are the supplies from the, the last mission there. Whatever. Oh, wow, look at that bookstore box. That's super helpful. Burning Shaft Mod, we'll make one of those. Okay, this portion here looks like there might be... Maybe some animals in here somewhere? Or some plants? Oh, this is like a chicken farm, isn't it? Yeah, that's why there's all the bird nests. Yeah, makes sense now. Well, I did pull out, like, 39 eggs from this place. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I've cleared out all the chicken areas now. We have the garage left over. I think there's a door here probably that I can go through. Yeah, here we go. Oh. Why are you guys running so fast today? I don't like this. Ah, ow. All right, so almost improved my skill on scythes. I probably, oh, I just did. Yes, I'm now a novice with scythes. So now all of our experience with scythes or in the future, attack assault rifles, the two things for our class, uh, will increase the witch doctor level. You can see it's at 0.6% right now. So probably just kill a few more zombies with the scythe and should level up, I think. Ooh, look at all this stuff back here. Wow. Wait a minute, are these just painted blocks? Oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> we got the one food box down here. Oh, not a bad one though. Pretty good, got that uh, gumbo stew out of it. And cat food, mm, yummy. 
Not sure the difference actually though. Uh, not the gumbo, the hobos do. Actually, really not as good as it is in vanilla, but I'll take it anyway. Uh, last little bit here is this house. Oh, hello. Okay, close that. Do the open the door, slice him in the face, close the door trick. And yep, we're up to 3.4% now in our sight skill, or the Witch Doctor class, I should say. Okay, try to like, kite them away from where Dank is standing, because he's just gonna end up taking all my XP. Right now, these things with the black die, definitely gonna take the time to uh, take that off. I've been saving it anyway, but I think you can craft it with like red, green, and blue die, I think I've heard. But uh, I'd rather just save it from when I find it in the wild. It's a little bit tedious having to go through all the clo clothing items and take off the die. So we'll try to avoid that if I can. I think I'm, I'm resigned to kind of take my time a little bit more in these POIs. I feel like I've been rushing things a little bit lately. I want to kind of slow it down. Make sure that I'm looting everything that I'm supposed to be looting. Which, is, you know, basically everything. Just take everything with me. It's kind of like Undead Legacy where every they, they found a use for pretty much everything. Oh crap, I'm totally pinned here. Get back. Oh my goodness, college jacket right there. Look at that, on the butcher. The butcher went to college for <laughs> butchering or something. I don't know, animal husbandry, we'll say. Very cool. That's run speed plus 10%, love it. How are we looking now? Oh, well, we're getting there, we're getting there. This is the, kind of the look that I usually kind of aim to achieve. All right, bud, you ready to go? Just follow me and let's head on to the last one. Oh, and just like that, it did tell me that I failed the quest because I didn't pick up the supplies, but it, it wasn't telling me where the supplies were, I think. I... Oh, man. I think that quest was a little bit bugged. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Oh, but look at that, though. There's a little bit of a horde going by over there. All right, I'm going to park Dank over here for backup and say, Dank, where'd you go? There you are. Stay where you are, and I'm going to go kill these guys for the extra XP. No, 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 no. Come this way, everybody. If you can hear me, come to the gunshots. Not to Dank's gunshots, please. Give me that sweet XP for the Witch Doctor class. Thank you. Oh, suddenly I'm very out of stamina. All right, heading over here so I can slurp down a copy. Oh, crap. Not doing good now. <laughs> crap, get back. And then hit the end key for the hot key for the healing here. Bleeding kills are starting to kick in a little bit. Booyah. Okay, I think that was it. Oh, I'm infected too, great. I did find some honey there a little bit earlier though. All right, let me grab up the loot here and then I'll just meet you at the next mission. All right, we're here. Kitsun's Gelato. Ooh, a bandit here too. Kill him, please. Senjik is back, he's a bandit now. Jeez, great. Free spear there. We are almost full up on inventory. You know, it's really good that we found the ambulance. I really like it, because look at the storage capacity on this thing. It's great. I can spend the whole day out looting without having to worry about anything. Go ahead and stay where you are there. And we're going to hit up Kitson's Gelato. Tier 2 fetch. Uh-oh. For some reason, I am unable to start the quest, though. Hmm. Yeah, something's going on with the quest. Let me just reload the game real fast. No. Nope. Uh, still not working. You know, this is this is potentially, you know, a thing where I've updated the version of the mod kind of like it, during a playthrough instead of starting over a new playthrough, which oftentimes is okay, but sometimes is not. And so my theory is that I should probably just cancel this mission, remove that, and I'm gonna go ahead to the trader, get a new one, and we'll see if the new one works. Because we've had two bugged quests now. We had the, oh, it's still saying tier two fetch there. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Can we just remove that one as well? And yeah, it's still showing up on the map. Okay, so let's go grab a new quest and just start over and see if it works. And for our reward, I've already got the leather gloves. I'm good there. Otherwise, this is pretty bad. The weighted head of all things is probably the most valuable item. Let's just grab a new job. We've got a fetch and clear here at the gas and wash. I'll take that. Let's go see if that works. All right, here we go. Lots of steel here too. I like that. Just make sure this works. It works. The question is going to be, is it going to work? Uh oh, uh, <laughs> am I going to be able to finish the quest? Clear area and retrieve supplies. Yeah, I think we're good here. Everything seems to be working as intended. I'm halfway there to upgrade my Witch Doctor class. Ow! And Dank is not doing a great job covering me, which is okay with me. 
Give me these sweet kills. Ah, damn you. Okay, my friend, you are gonna stay outside and guard the area. Oh, check this out across the street, though. Military Humvee here. Although broken beyond repair, I think. But a fire extinguisher inside. Nice! My first one. Look at this beast here. This is repairable, too. It's like a Mad Max vehicle. You know what we should probably do is probably we should uh, get a vehicle repair kit out of the vending machine at the trader and maybe come out here and repair some cool looking vehicle. I mean, as much as I like the ambulance, I might need to uh, experiment with some other cars too. All right, we're heading inside now. Front door, unlocked. Very good. I, there's actually a bandit over here though that I wanted to see. Did she die? Or is that a survivor? It's a bandit. It's a bandit around back. Let's see if I can kill her. Actually, first aid kind of low. She's got a fire. She's almost dead anyway, so just take the kill, I guess. And hello there. Oh, crap. Should be some free food in here so we can top off. Wow, nice. I predict it's like every single one, though. Every single ice machine has a bunch of food in it. Holy, a cop. Oh, two of them. Yeah, I don't know about going with hand-to-hand -hand combat with these guys. Three of them. Holy crap, close that door. Oh, jeez. Oh, you know what? I think fire might be off right now because um, when I updated the mod, some of the settings reset back to default, so I had to, you know, change back a couple, but I think I forgot to do the fire. <laughs> kind of glad this place would just absolutely burn to the ground if I had it on. All right. Do the best I can here with the sickle. Interrupt you. And... Ow. Whoa. Okay, a little bit of health here from Dank, not gonna be the end of the world. And a little bit of gun action as well. Little bit out of my league here. Holy crap, a whole bunch more. Look out! Ooh, that's a good one right there. Excellent. Okay, let's just clear the zombies out and then we can loot up later when it's, uh, you know, nighttime. It's nighttime now. Oh crap. What are you doing here? All right, let's just break in here and kill these zombies wherever they are. They're on the rooftop? Really? Anybody up here? Yeah, a bunch of people are up here, I guess. More coming from downstairs as well. Let's check on Dank out here. Yeah, he's doing fine. Killing spiders and nurses and stuff like that. Biker over by the ambulance. I'm sure he'll take him out too. Ah, there's our satchel right there. Nice. Okay, I'm now encumbered. I don't want anything to do with that. So I got the red tea. I'll take that. It gives me extra run speed anyway, which is always fun. I can outrun these zombies. Oh. All right, now I can just loot up the compound in peace. Scratch that. The area is not clear. There's still a zombie in here somewhere. Ah, hi there. That did it. Oh, you know what? I just found that honeycomb there, and I'm infected 3.9%, so that will fix that. Main loot here. Ah, nothing much. Munitions box. Probably gonna have some ammo. Yep. Construction site box here with a bunch of iron. And otherwise, not much. All right, it's taken a good long while, but I've fully looted this place now. Even all of these empty store shelves that are actually not empty. The empty looking store shelves, but they always have a little bit of something something inside of them. And I've been picking up all the trash on the ground, too, because I'm starting to realize that trash has pretty decent stuff in it. It's easy to friggin' fill up your inventory fast, that's for sure. All right, I think we're out of here, though. Let's head back to the base, unload, and then come up with a plan for tomorrow. All right, welcome back, my friends. Last night, I spent most, I, just a couple of extra hours there, really, getting all of the stuff out of here and sort of organized into its semi-final form, which will be in storage boxes lining the rooftop here. And then eventually, we'll move out of here and we'll move to the new big base, which I might end up crafting in the wasteland, which you can just make out over there. So it wouldn't be too far of a move. It would kind of be a big to-do because we'd have to like harvest up all the workstations and then, you know, they become repairable. We'd have to repair them. But maybe if we can get a land claim block here at some point, we can just pick them up. I'm not sure. And uh, land claim block, that's actually, I could probably just make that right now. That's made in the forge or AKA <laughs> the anvil, I guess. Oh, I can't do it right now because I put all the large rocks into the shredder to make cobblestone, which is probably done by now, I would imagine. 1900 of it so we're doing pretty good on cobble now but we're gonna need to use the cobble to make cobblestone shapes and that's gonna require 
the furnace and it takes 20 cobblestone just for one? Oh my, that's that's a lot. I could only make like a hundred cobblestone blocks right now. And we need like we need like a thousand to make the base. Well, how about we get started on the furnace if I can? I can, good. There's some extra crossbow bolts there. And look at the cell chest, it's right full of stuff. So give me a second here to get that stuff repaired the best I can, then we'll sell it off. Yeah, I don't really think it's worth it at this stage in the game to just incrementally repair these shovels and things like that. They're just not worth that much to begin with. And I mean, for this, we're talking about going from 30 to 60 with the use of like, I think it's probably duct tape for the iron fire axe, but um, I don't have much of that to begin with. And I don't really, the reason why I don't repair my stuff most of the time is because it's going to use duct tape in one way or another. And then that means I have to use bones and murky water. And it's like a whole freaking process to do Good that. Job. Looks like Briston has a reward for me for the alchemy table quest, which I don't even really remember doing quite honestly, but it gives us a little bit of XP and 200 old cash is what I'll take there. Ooh, special mission for zombie putty. Zombie putty, if you've ever watched The Walking Dead, it's like you take um, rotten flesh, I guess, and you grind it up, you smear it on yourself, and then you become undetectable to zombies. So that quest is going to be, to get the schematic to make that, we need to gather up some of this stuff right here. And I just saw I don't have the tree resin right now to do that yet. We'll have to chop down some more trees. Oh look, the trees are like regrowing in the yard everywhere. That's unfortunate. I'll have to probably dig out the block underneath them to actually get rid of the tree once and for all. And get your wallet out because we're gonna do the sell off. And that's about it, $2,871 there. And so what I was thinking here is Sometimes we can craft these training skills ourselves, but I think if I was gonna make them, I'd rather make the ones that are really expensive. So we gotta kind of take inventory of which ones are the most expensive and which ones are the least expensive. It's like parkour, like I'll take, I'll take two points into parkour. I think I can do two because my dexterity is level two. And I'll take maybe one into run and gun and that's basically all of my money. But um, as much as I would want the one in Better Barter, I'll just I'll just wait until I can make my own and just save myself that much money. I don't know, sounds like a plan to me. Correct me if I'm wrong there. But yeah, let's see if we can get these finished off here. That's two into parkour and one into run and gun. And Dank over here, he got some brains in his mouth from all the way over here shooting that zombie. <laughs> okay, let's lock and load here a little bit because I was modifying my weapons last night. And we gotta go to the trader anyway to turn in our quest and get some more. And we'll get a couple of repair kits while we're there. Otherwise, I think they were pretty good. Oh yes, the alchemy table. And let's just put away these fire axes. Can I make the alchemy table right now? I sure can, that's not using anything particularly important. So start working on that. I got the furnace there, and then over here in the main storage boxes, I have the gas stove top and the generator. So when we come back today, tonight, we'll start setting that up in here somewhere. I don't know, it's getting cl claustrophobic in there already. I don't know if we even have enough room for all the crafting stations, but like I said, we're gonna build a big, huge base that is in the design process right now. It is not gonna be for day 14. We're gonna do basically what we did in the Darkness Falls series. Two hordes at the first horde base, the main base or whatever, and then we'll build the big base and we'll kind of fight the whole, all the rest of them for the rest of the whole series from the main base, the big base. The dark ritual sanctuary fortress that I'm designing. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, first things first, do I even have enough money to get two firearm repair kits? I think I do and let's just, Repair them now preemptively so I don't break them in the middle of a firefight. And Rex should have a reward for me as well. Oh boy. Okay, wrench. Actually quite a bit better than the one I have. It is 2.9 more block damage. I guess I'll switch it over. And let's see about getting some more jobs here. Um, barn number three. That looks like something we could do. Four more tier two jobs until tier three. So let's just grab up four jobs and see how far we can make it today. Another barn here, the ranch house. It's not too bad. And how about the, oh, it's the vet. Oh, no, 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 it says wasteland. No, thanks. What about this farm? Pine forest, okay, fair enough. Let's do all four of those, or at least a couple of them today. And we're at 81.6% on the witch doctor. So just a couple more kills with a sickle or the scythe, whichever you prefer. 
and uh, we should be all set to go on that. Where are we heading first though? Closest one is the barn up there. I'll meet you there. Oh, here we are, and we've got a survivor out here to guard the ambulance. Very cool, who do we got? Axel Barfoot fighting against Mudman here. Whoa, that was pretty cool. I do want to get an archer, because I think uh, an archer would just be fun to have if we wanted to do some kind of stealthy missions. Oh, ow. Not that uh, I'm, I'm much into the whole stealthy thing myself, but it uh, might be just fun to have. A little thematic, I guess. Ooh, loot. All right, you can go ahead and work on that. I'm gonna go ahead and work on this. Let's do this. All right, well that's it for this place. Just check out the loot. I don't think there's gonna be too much important stuff here. It's only a tier two, we're really low level still. Yeah, nothing good here. Got a rad remover mod there and I'm pretty much completely encumbered. We still gotta go get the hidden stash though. Not that I think this is gonna pay off very much, but $500, not too bad. In the process there, I did level up in the Witch Doctor class, so that's a thing. It also gave me a potion, so we're gonna take a look at that here in just a second when I can like safely move. There we go. Okay, that should be good here in a second. Yep, there we go. Right, so, whoops, now it's all in here. Here is the potion. This is to summon a skeleton warrior, so if I was to just throw that, a, a, like a grenade, it would, uh, wherever it landed, it would just, um, you know, summon me a skeleton warrior, and that will scale up as we level up. So it's only tier one now. It will be tier two, three, four, five as we level up in the Witch Doctor class, and that's what this note is telling me. The reason I know all this is because uh, I think this is new in the latest version that I just downloaded for the mod, and so I kind of uh, was aware, generally aware of the change there. And there's an airdrop straight to the south right there. Right, the generic perk book. So like I was just saying, we can use this to get better barter, because that saves us like six grand right there. So we'll read that, and we've got uh, one point in better barter, which if I recall was only a 2% better bartering. <laughs> so very, very small change, but there's 10 levels to it. So, you know, I think it goes up to about a 20% discount and, you know, 20% more dukes and stuff. Oh, that kind of reminds me, I was gonna change my glasses over to the Daring Adventurer glasses. Maybe let's not, let's try not to turn in our quests until we've done a couple more, because, oh, did we? Yes, we cleared the area. <laughs> Just to double check that for a second. Um, yeah, let's get the Daring Adventurer glasses on before we turn everything else in. And, oh, hang on a second. We should just head to the north there, right on the main drag, and there's a treasure map out there as well. That works for me. Just back up over these couple of guys and head out. Let's go, get out of the road. <laughs> oh, can't stop and not get this gas here and the steel that's in these. Free, easy steel. There might be some in this over here. Wow, I'm just flying now that the red tea is, is, is in me and um, and I'm not encumbered anymore. Whoop! Woke up a bunch of people there. Oh! This is a working wheel, I would bet. No, that's a damaged wheel. That makes quite a bit of sense. And check that one there. That is car tire, small and flat, which is part of the recipe to make a working wheel, so that's good, hello. Yeah, they're, they're thrashing around in there. Just, just grab some uh, brunch out of here, perfect. And on to the next quest then. Is this the place? Is this the farm we're supposed to do here? The honey farm? There's a freaking wild pig running around. Yes, this is the place. If anything, might get some honey out of here, which is always nice. Let's try and, I'm gonna side with the zombie first. Uh oh, whoa, oh, we can move plenty fast, faster than he can, I think. Yeah, there we go. 
Honeycomb. Yes, nice. Of course, we have the corn and stuff as well, although... Oh, there's the uh, treasure map <laughs> right here in the field. Ooh. I might want to dig this up first because I'm afraid that... Um, if I reset the quest, you know, I don't know what's going to happen to stuff that's underground here. So, let me dig this out first. Aha, there it is. And we're in. And what'd we get? Just silver and gold, basically. The only important stuff in there. Okay, now, if my prediction is correct, this will all just be filled in when we snap the quest over here. Let's just double check that. Hit it, and yeah, so I don't know what would have happened to the chest if that was the case. But now we don't have to worry about it. We do, however, have to worry about clearing the area and fetching the supplies. Always a challenge for me <laughs> to remember to get the supplies. So hopefully I don't forget this time. Let's check the honey situation here. Got another one, great. Okay, we're in through here. It's been a good long while since I did this place. Maybe about, um... Uh, a week, I would say, at this point. <laughs> I just did this on the live stream there, very recently. Oh, ow, oh, 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 I'm gonna get killed here. Oh my goodness. Sprained an arm, great. I think I do have some steroids nearby. Okay, well, oh geez, I am just super prepared for this, aren't I? Super fast movers here. Yeah, the power attack's gonna hurt me now. That's just wonderful. We're drawing in half the neighborhood. See, she's like going super fast, but the one that I just killed... Oh, why do we got so many zombies here? Uh, yeah, the one I just killed there, she was... Um, oh yeah, hit the end button to uh, do the the uh, quick heal. Yeah, the one from inside is what I'm trying to say. She was really fast. And, uh, that catches you off guard sometimes. All right, area secure. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get a tree branch here to get a splint to help with my arm. And ooh, look at all the wheels over here. What do these pick up as? <gasps> three wheels, just just like that. And I'll get another three off of this. Wow, I guess we're not worrying about wheels anymore. Okay, that should do it. Splint. Oh no, the splint's not gonna work. Ah, I'm too used to freaking mods. I'm used to other mods where splints work on spraying things. We need steroids, that's what we need, jeez. Which, I don't know if there's any sitting in the ambulance or not. Nope, I don't see any. We'll just have to be extra careful then. Extra careful and topping off on the painkillers and stuff like that a little bit more often. Holy crap, oh jeez, is that a feral? Nope, kind of threw me off there. Oh my god, help me. Oh, more people outside, love it. Here, Darlene, get the hell out of here, or at least let's just weaken him up with the shotgun here. That way we don't have to worry so much with the sickle. Oh, is this a freaking horde of all times right now when I'm freaking injured? Oh, yes, it probably is, and I'm probably going to die here if I don't get out of here. Yep, give me that run speed, please. Woo! Wow, that helps a lot. Just going to kite and bandage. Kite and bandage. Gather them all up together and molotov them. About right about there. That's helpful. Yeah, look at them all. Just freaking pouring out of the field. Great. Oh god, they move so fast. Seems like my, my bandage, or my Molotov was only basically minimally effective there. Try and airburst some pipe bombs. Maybe that'll work better. Like that. Oh, these are like explosive immune zombies, so that's gonna not work as well. Okay, I've had enough of this. Trying to level up my witch doctor skill and use my sickle, but sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. All right, I think that was it. Wow, look at all the freaking explosive immune zombies here. Okay, I think we're back on track now. Back into the PO. Oh, dexterity just increased. Nice. We've only cleared out two rooms so far. Uh, uh, all day. <laughs> Been here for hours. Someone's fighting outside too. That's good. Be a little bit of a distraction for us. Oh, gyrocopter accessories hanging out in that bookshelf. Good, good. And an insulated liner mod schematic. Holy crap. Ah, oh, it's hurting me bad every time I take a swing, but I don't have much of a choice here. I mean, I, I, I have lots of choices. I have like three guns on the hot bar, but we're not going there just yet. If I could just get a steroid, I'd be all set. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a fight here, so hold up, hold up, hold up. 
Wakey, wakey. Oh, explosive immune zombies of all freaking times. Ooh, I just set that whole thing on fire. Whoops. Holy crap. I heard a freaking target acquired. Is there a freaking robot out here? Oh, yes, I can I can hear it happening. It's right over there. There's a survivor fighting against a cyborg. I can't leave the area, but I'll try and help him out from here if I can. Oh, no, now he's coming for me. It's Dylan Corrigan. Oh, jeez. Oh my goodness, he's fast. He's so fast. Whoa, I'm trying to use a sword here. I don't know why. Here, have us some tag assault rifle. That, is he gonna blow up? Uh, Al Axel, get out of there, Axel. Oh no, he didn't even, he didn't even die. Wow, man. Oh jeez, enemy droid. Holy crap. Interesting assortment of items in him. Okay, well. Jeez, I, this, I can't clear this POI out. This is gonna be the death of me in here. Three minutes left on the sprained arm. I, I, you know, we'll be okay there. We'll be done with this place probably in three minutes anyway. Why couldn't I just get an infection today with all the freaking stumps around here? It would have been great. Probably some loot in there. We will never know. There is a pretty big fight on our hands in here though. That I do know. Let's see if I can uncover a zombie or two. Yeah, there's one. And one more there. Okay, she's gonna come over to me though. Hit her right in the thigh, see if that slows her down at all. Yep, there's a plaster cast. <laughs> Not helpful, right now at least. Aha, there's one more guy up there. Ooh, he's a fast mover from what I can see here. Okay, there's usually one last zombie down there. Ow! Of course, closing things out with a bang. And here we are, May loot. Oh, and don't forget, yes, we gotta find the supplies. Almost forgot about that part. Oh, and there was a new drink in that container there. What was that? Oh, that's the yucca juice. That does, okay, digging and chopping. We'll have to compare that actually to the goldenrod and see which one does better, I think. Oh, digging and chopping for yucca, so that would be like clay and trees, and mining is for the goldenrod, so that would be for ores and things like that. Oh, and this 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 thing here. This is a part of some crafting recipe that I've looked at some night, and I don't remember which one it was. Totally encumbered now. Take the red tea so that I can move a little bit. And right, where are those supplies? Probably in the burning building. I see them. <laughs> they are right there. There is something important in here after all. There we go. Okay, just yank him out of the fire. No big deal. And we're done here. Just wanted to come over here and check out this wreck because it looks pretty freaking cool. Look at this. Wow, there's barbed wire like curled around a body on the end of this truck here. <laughs> is this repairable? Holy crap, it's a real truck. Whoa, that is so cool. I was wondering like how all of that worked together there. Apparently it's just all one model, nice. Well, that's super cool. What's the, um, okay, 7,500 hit points, 8,000 on the ambulance. Storage looks, let's see, one, two. It's a 10 by 10 storage. This uh, also looks 10 by 10. It is, okay. Well, I'll, I'll just take it with me for now then, I guess. <laughs> that was funny. All right, what, what are we doing now? What time is it? It's 1953. I wouldn't suppose that we have enough time to do another mission. Let's grab the airdrop then, and then we'll go home and get the proper glasses on. Delete the Maverick skill point, uh, the map point. I don't know why that's doing that. And then, uh, so we'll get the Daring Adventure glasses on, we'll pick up the rewards, and we'll probably call it a day after that. All right, I found my way to the airdrop right here. Check this real fast. Ooh, melee mods bundle, another wrench. Got wrenches in abundance around here. And I'm just here to stash my inventory real quick. Got these buttons here. This is the quick stack mod, so you can just press this button and it moves stuff from your inventory into storage boxes that have the same item in them. Let's just check that. Ooh, burning shaft mod, that's very nice. And I just needed the, what was it? The daring adventurer glasses. Toss those on, put the charismatic nature glasses away. We're all set with that. We've already hired our two companions anyway. 
And let's go to the trader now and get the rewards. Asshole. Uh, nothing much, anyway. I'll take the 9 mil. You know, you can make an argument for the armor plating mod, but... Um, Oh, we're doing really good on ammo anyways. I've, I'm already full up on mods. Oh, we could do leather boots. We don't have those. I'll take those. And, oh, the other quest reward. Yeah, in this case, I will just do the 9 mil. Fair enough. Let's go home. It'd be really cool if this drew in more zombies. And see what I can do is just open this up, fill up my inventory, use the quick stack buttons, put them all away, grab the rest of it, Quick stack, quick stack, and then the rest of it is just stuff that isn't stackable or isn't stacked. Uh, I, I don't have it yet, and so I'll just do that manually. Okay, everything's put away now. I have a generic DNA boost, which we could use on strength to boost up our strength to level two, like, instantly. Or we could use it on any number of the other ones as we see fit. I kind of don't know. I need to figure out if deep cuts is affecting my sickle at all, or the scythe skill, in part, like the scythe t class of weapons. I mean, it talks about like 20% more damage with bladed weapons, more bleeding wounds. I mean, my sickle here does cause bleeding wounds. I'm not really sure how to increase intelligence, actually, if I'm being honest here. Increasing intelligence says it will increase with, uh, uh, increase my damage with tools and more XP with electrical traps. I don't exactly know. I have to do some more research on that between episodes, but I am going to go ahead and boost my strength up to level two. And then I also, I think I actually do have, yeah, I have a sexy T-Rex book right here. So we should be able to read that right now. We'll get the strength boost crafted. We'll get the strength injection crafted. So I don't know what these generic ones are. It doesn't tell me the percentage. Maybe it's random. Maybe it's 10%, um, 20%. I'm at like 86.3% or something like that. 86.9. So let's just do this and see what happens. Some compound Z directly into the veins. That brought me up to 100%, but it doesn't like cycle back around. Actually, it went up to 105.7, which is not a round number, which kind of leads me to believe maybe it um, it increased my strength by a random amount, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Let's go see if Briston is selling any uh, sexy T-Rex, whatever we're calling these, like skilled trainer books. He is, and it's a little bit cheaper because I had crafted that one book into better barter, so 2,900, I can afford that, no problem. Let's take that and should be able to read it again. That is now good for power attacks, 5% less stamina, regular attacks, 3% for melee and tools. Good deal, I feel like we've made some pretty good progress today, but there's still so much left to see and do, and I hope you'll join me for that. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.